We've all read Goodnight Moon, The Green Room, The Random Red Balloon, The Mush, whatever that is. But do you know the story behind the story? Here are four things I didn't know about Goodnight Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Goodnight Moon was the first of its kind. Before its publication, kids' books followed one formula, the fairy tale. A good guy, a bad guy, a land far, far away, and always a moral at the end like don't steal or be kind. Goodnight Moon doesn't follow any of that. The room looks just like any other kid's room if that kid was an extremely wealthy rabbit in Victorian England. And that left a lot of people asking, what does it mean? The reason for this? Brown studied at a revolutionary education program founded by Lucy and Wesley Mitchell. They founded the here and now theory and believed that early education should be centered around the kids' everyday world. Commonplace now, but at the time, a new concept. Not everyone was on the here and now train. Anne Carol Moore, the head child's librarian at the New York Public Library in the 20s, did not like Brown or the Mitchells either. And it took almost 30 years to get a copy of Goodnight Moon on the shelves at the New York Public Library. Now that's a grudge. The story was written in 20 minutes. It took Brown very little time to write the first draft, but the edits and illustrations took a lot longer, several years. The rights to Goodnight Moon pose a mystery. Brown never had her own children, but she was very close to a neighbor family and their kids, the Clarks. When she passed at a pretty young age, Brown's will revealed that she had somewhat randomly left the rights to Goodnight Moon to one of the family's children, Albert. Interviewed as an adult, Albert Clark claims that on the day Brown died, he overheard a conversation his mother had on the phone. His mom told the other person on the line that Brown was actually Albert's real mom, and that's why she left him the book rights. Even though this genetic mystery has never been proven, Clark holds to his claims. Well, there you have it. Four things I didn't know about Goodnight Moon. If you enjoyed this video, check back for more and visit my blog, booktomato.net.